Welcome to Emila Online Tutorial. Before us is this question on simple machine and says, What effort will a machine of efficiency 90% apply to lift a load of 180 Nm? If its effort hand is twice as long as its load hand. Okay, now let's start. First of all, uh, writing out all the parameters the efficiency here e is giving us a 90 percent which can be written as 90 over 100 0 0.9 okay now we have the load to be 180 newton okay now the efficiency is what we're looking for i mean sorry the effort is what we're looking for e okay let me just put f here to differentiate this and this now about the velocity ratio we don't know but uh, we know that uh, velocity ratio is the effort distance or the distance moved by effort over the distance moved by load now but here we can see that uh, effort here is twice times okay as long as its load so air okay now from here let us see if we can get this ratio from this expression so here we have e equals to 2 air okay now for us to get this now since we have l as denominator let's also divide through by l so e over l which is the effort over the distance moved by effort and distance moved by load, the ratio equals 2. So automatically, you can answer that the velocity ratio here equals 2. Okay. Now, for the mechanical advantage, we don't know. Okay. Now, let us solve. So, efficiency equals mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100. Okay, now but since we've worked with the percentage here, so there's no need of writing this 100 here. So, here we have 0 0.9, then equals mechanical advantage, then over velocity ratio, which is a 2. Okay, now multiply both sides by 2. So this will cancel out. So mechanical advantage here will be 1.8. Alright, so okay. Now but let us recall so that mechanical advantage equals to load over effort. And mechanical advantage is giving us what 1.8. But our load is giving us 180. So here we have 180 over the effort equals to 1.8. Now multiplying, okay, let us just cross multiply. So here, this also implies that 180 over 1.8 equals effort, okay? And as such here, when we divide through, okay, for simplicity's sake, this same thing as say 180 over 18 over 10. Now which implies 180 uh, over 1, now divided by 18 over 10 which also implies that these are uh, 180 over 1 times 10 over 18 so 18 year 1 18 year 10 so we are left with what 110 times 10 which will give us what 100 newton so the effort for the, the, um, the effort here now is 100 newton. So that's what I've just done. Ensure that you click on uh, subscribe to my YouTube button, I mean to my YouTube channel rather, and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in physics, mathematics, and chemistry. Thank you and God bless you.